Hi, my name is Nora, and today I will be reading you Tony Baloney, School Rules, by Pam Minaz, Ryan, and Edwin Fotheringham. The Big Day. Tony Baloney, the macaroni penguin, wakes up early. Before Papa Baloney can remind him, he dresses, then brushes his teeth. He's ready. Today, he won't have to be bossy big sis obey bossy big sister Baloney. He won't have to play with the bothersome babies Baloney. Today, he's going to school. He packs his backpack with his favorite things. Parmesan cheese, little green Wallace guys, and his very best stuffed animal buddy, Dandelion. I'm a teeny, weeny bit worried about the big day. I know, Big Sister says there are a lot of rules, but Mama says we will be just fine. What if I get lost on the way to the bathroom? What if I don't find a place to sit at lunchtime? What if I can't follow the rules? Don't worry, you can, we can do it. I'll be there if you need me. Besides, would you rather stay home with a bothersome babies? Let's see. Drool or school? Pack my pencils. At breakfast, Big Sister Baloney tells 20, Tony Baloney 20 times, or maybe twice, that she was in Miss Gamboni's class too. I was her most perfect student. BB, we don't have to be perfect, says Mama Baloney. We just have to do our best. Well, I was line leader on the first day, she said. Maybe I will be a line leader on the first day, too, says Tony Baloney. Fat chance, said Big Sister Baloney. Tony Baloney does not love trouble. School rules. But trouble loves him. School rules. At school, Big Sister Baloney walks Tony Baloney to his classroom. Then I must stay in your cubby, she says. It's a rule. Be a rule keeper. That's my motto. That's my motto, too, said Tony Baloney. Welcome to Miss G's garden, said Miss Gamboni. She is smiling. Her voice is cheerful. She smells like peaches and coconut. A place to grow and work. Miss Gamboni grins. Mrs. Gamboni grins at Tony Baloney. You must be Bibi, Bibi's brother. She would love to be my line leader. Tony Baloney grins back and think. Grins back and thinks. I would love to be the line leader too. Miss Gamboni points to the board. These are our classroom rules. She reads them aloud. Number one: In rooms and hallways, always walk. Two, number two, be kind to friends when you play or talk. Number three, raise your flipper to tell or ask. Number four, follow directions and stay on task. Number five, no interruptions, if you please, except for the bee emergencies. Does everyone know what the bee emergencies are? No one knows. Miss G Mrs. Gamboni explains, bee emergencies are... Bathroom, bandage, and Billy upset. When I am working with other penguins, you may interrupt me only if you need to use the bathroom, or if you need a bandage, or if someone has a belly upset. Does everyone know what belly upset means? Tony Baloney knows. It means barf, he shouts. Tony Baloney and Bob laugh. Everyone else is a lot off too. Soon the class is a mask of giggling penguins. Mrs. Gamboni points to rule number three and asks everyone to please settle down. At recess, all the penguins play freeze tag. Tony Baloney is so excited that he accidentally tags Bob too hard. Mrs. Gamboni frowns. Tony Baloney. Please remember to be kind to your friends. At lunch, Tony Baloney carries his tray across the everything room. He wants to sit with Bob. When he sees a spot next to him, he runs. Mrs. Gamboni calls. Tony Baloney, always walk. But it is too late. Flip, slide, 
Crash! After lunch, Tony Baloney needs a moment with Dandelion. And then Mrs. Scamboni had a little talk with me about the rules. She said that I'll get the hang of them soon. And she said that we shouldn't let these small, or maybe gigantic, that disaster spoil an otherwise lovely beginning of the school year. Oh, and I'm not the line leader. Yeah, we sort of knew that might happen. Give it time, dude. Be emergencies. That afternoon, the penguins take turns working with Miss Scamboni. While they wait, they have choice time. Tony Baloney chooses blocks. Blocks. He and Bob build a small tower. Power. But then seven, or maybe seventy-seven blocks fall on top of Bob. Mrs. Gamboni calls Tony Baloney. Without looking up, Mrs. Gamboni asks, Tony Baloney, is this a bee emergency? Tony Baloney thinks about the rules. Bathroom, bandage, belly upset. No, he says and wonders what to do. Tony realizes this is a bee emergency. He bells. Bob is buried beneath the blocks. Friendship Ambassador. Today, Tony Baloney is our friendship ambassador, says Miss Gamboni. Does everyone know that, that what that means? It means he's a good friend, says Sally, especially to Bob. That's right, says Miss Gamboni. Now we need to add to our list of bee emergencies. Does anyone have ideas? Everyone does. B emergencies. Number one, bathroom. Number two, bandits. Number three, belly upset. Number four, buried beneath blocks. Number five, bruised beak. Number six, barking beetles. Number seven, baboons on bicycles. Number eight, Boomerangs, number nine. Banana bombs. Soon, the class is a mess of giggling penguins. That night at dinner, Mama Baloney says, Wow, friendship ambassador. Very impressive, says Papa Baloney. And on the first day, says Tony Baloney. Big Sister Baloney says, It's not polite to wear a hat at the table. He may leave it on says Mama Baloney, and he does. School was fun. I made a friend named Bob. I liked it, too. I met a stuffed turtle named Pedro. Mrs. Gamboni is nice. I kind of love her. Did, did I tell you that I'm a friendship, I'm friendship ambassador? Twice, or maybe 50 times. But tell me again, and I'll pretend to be surprised. I hope you enjoyed the book, Tony Baloney, School Rules. Bye.